Hi, I'm Lee Buckner, economics instructor. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how to analyze the behaviors and identify the outcomes for a perfectly competitive firm. So note here on our graph, um, we have the demand, margin revenue, average total cost, and marginal cost curves, what you would see for a typical perfectly competitive firm. The demand is a flat line. And the reason it's a flat line is the demand for the product sold by a perfectly competitive firm is set by the market price for a perfectly competitive market. So that demand is going to be constant or a flat line. Because that demand is a flat line, the marginal revenue is also flat and on top of the demand. Marginal revenue, uh, as your book outlines, means the amount of additional income or revenue a firm would get if they sold an additional product because they're always selling it at the same price, the additional revenue or the change in revenue is always going to be the same. Okay, so first thing you want to figure out about your perfectly competitive firm is what quantity are they gonna produce for their product? Your book presents something called the profit maximization rule, which is a firm can maximize the profit it makes from selling its product if it sets the quantity produced where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So on our graph, that looks like this. Marginal cost here, marginal revenue here. They intersect at this point. So you wanna draw a vertical line through that point of intersection. And what I'm labeling Q star here on our graph is the optimal quantity for this firm to produce. Now, since we've established what the price the firm's gonna charge and what quantity they're gonna produce, we can now measure the outcomes for the firm. There are three particular outcomes we're looking to find in this course. The first one is their total revenue from selling their product. The second one is the total cost for manufacturing their product. And the third and final outcome we wanna measure is their profit for making and selling the product. So first, let's talk about the total revenue. Total revenue equals the price they charge times the quantity that they sell. Those first two numbers you should get from your chart over here. The second outcome we want to look at is going to be what is the total cost of production? Total cost equals the quantity that they make and sell, which we already know, times the average cost per unit if they make that many units. We're going to call ATC. ATC we get from the chart over here. To find our average total cost, we're going to find when this vertical line at Q star intersects the average total cost curve. They intersect right there. Go to the left of that. And the value you get is the ATC that you're looking for for your firm. Lastly, we want to measure the profit for this firm. What is their final profit going to be? And by the way, if they go through the steps of identifying quantity using the, the profit maximization rule and setting price at the market price, this quantity value is going to be the largest possible quantity that the firm could obtain. So for profit, there are two different ways we can calculate it. There's the standard finance and accounting way, which I'll present uh, behind my head here. It is profit equals total revenue minus total cost. Would you just calculate both of those values? Profit equals TR minus TC. Total revenue you calculate here, total cost you calculate here. Profit is just the difference. Alternatively, you can measure the area of what's called a profit box. Uh, profit box you're gonna get from your chart and the box is gonna have the top being the price, the bottom being the ATC, one side being the y-axis, and the other side being Q star. So let's find that here. Price, ATC, y-axis, Q star. That's your profit box. The area of the box is just the height times the width. So for the height, you take the difference between price and ATC, that's this distance here. 
the width is just going from your y-axis over to q star that's just going to be the value q star you can do all those things you can find your optimal quantity and atc on the graph then use those numbers to plug them in to get your total revenue total cost and ultimately calculate your profit you've done all the basic things we're looking for in this chapter for analyzing the behavior of a perfectly competitive firm